ఇక వైజాగ్ లో ఇన్ఫోసిస్ కార్యాలయాన్ని ప్రారంభించిన అనంతరం వైఎస్ జగన్ మీడియాతో మాట్లాడుతున్నారు ఇప్పుడు అలా చూద్దాం to tier 1 cities obviously could not be housed in vizag because of the fact that hyderabad was our capital even though vizag had that potential unfortunately we were left with this tier 2 city but nevertheless vizag is the biggest city in andhra pradesh and this has the capacity and the potential to catapult into tier 1 city the fact being that we have almost uh, very prestigious institutes as well in, here in vizag we have uh, educational hub housing 80 universities four medical colleges 14 engineering colleges 12 degree colleges and almost generating 12000 to 15000 engineers every year we have uh, very prestigious institutes as well in vizag we have iim here we have uh, uh, national law university also here along with uh, the eight universities and all and four medical colleges and uh, the 12 degree colleges that i've just spoken about so this has the capacity this has the potential we have a very uh, a quite a few public sector undertaking companies are here we have ioc we have uh, eastern naval command which houses almost 20000 naval officers and families we have uh, uh, quite a lot of public sector undertakings here we have uh, uh, a strong port based infrastructure already in existence two strong ports right over here the sakapatnam port and the gangavaram port not very far from here we also have the third port coming up which is uh, uh, in srikakulam also not very far from here we have this beautiful international airport also just taking off i mean uh, maybe another two years we would have the exclusive civilian international airport also in vizag and most importantly you know i asked my officers to look for a good premises for myself also to shift the shift our uh, <laughs> and uh, probably you know little bit of uh, they have uh, scouted for premises and you know, once it is cm it comes with a, a huge setup of security and uh, the cmo and officers and their living places and things like that so so just looking at few few of the premises and maybe i was hoping for october maybe it'll be december that's what, that's what i was told but nevertheless december would probably be the outer line where i myself would actually be staying in vizag so this <laughs> this kind of push which is required for the city to actually become the tier 1 city and i'm very confident that infosys uh with the kind of background that it holds uh the 328000 employees and 18.5 billion in revenues uh probably uh, tcs and infosys and wipro probably these are the kind of names that actually would change the landscape of it for any city and now that infosys here we are hopeful that in the days to come we would also have the others also join the bandwagon so very soon we would have all these companies also come in we have uh, uh, adani uh, uh, data center also coming up wherein the submarine cable is coming all the way from singapore exclusive submarine cable and uh, with that data center actually coming into reality in the course of next two years that would once again uh, house a lot of activity especially in the clouds in clouding uh, part of the uh, IT space so all this coming into reality and I'm sure that with most importantly with Infosys coming here 
and uh, what uh, the the warmth that I have received uh, interacting with uh, Nilanjan and Neela Prasad and Suresh and Raghu and the top brass of IT here. I was very confident that these people would do wonders here for Vizac. That confidence uh, I have, uh, I'm convinced. So I think uh, with Infosys coming down here to stay, with uh, this uh, development center actually housing uh, 1,000 people to begin with, would uh, be the starting uh, point wherein we would see uh, Infosys taking a much bigger lead in the days to come. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Wysak would be the destination where dreams would come true. And uh, I'm confident that in the days to come, with Infosys and with uh, the support of the state government, Wysak would see uh, uh, an altogether a different uh, growth strategy, different growth trajectory. Uh, my, all my best wishes to the Infosys top management. And I'm once again assuring uh, the Infosys top management that anything you require, we're just a phone call away. Please be mindful of that. And uh, we are here to support you. Any which way, in whatever way uh, you deem fit, you please uh, 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 do uh, uh, take us into confidence and we would stand by you in every which way. That's, uh, these are the words from my side. And uh, I wish everybody here, the top, from the top management to every employee who is who's here, all the very best wishes from my side. Thank you so much, sir. We, we value and echo your vision. Um, I would request our CFO Nilanjan Roy to felicitate with the momentum to our Honorable Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu. Uh, sir, uh, this is a kind request from all of us. Um, we would like to take a group picture with all our employees. It will be a great honor and pleasure uh, to have you with us, sir. On behalf of the Infosys family, I would like to express our gratitude to our esteemed Chief Guest, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, uh, who has graciously taken time to be with us on this momentous occasion. So your presence here today is not only an honor, but also highlights your unwavering commitment. Uh, I'll take this moment to also uh, thank and appreciate our leadership, uh, Mr. Nilanjan Roy. Um, I request you guys to please be, please, please take your seat, please be seated. Thank you. Um, and special thanks to our IT Minister, Shri Guruvada Amarnath